Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Monday, December 13th. Tesla has released a new product today, the wall connector faceplate that matches vehicle paint colors. The automaker released it today saying, quote, perfectly pair your wall connector to the paint color of your Tesla vehicle with wall connector color matched faceplate. Made from the same durable tempered glass as the original design, these faceplates offer a stylish alternative to your Tesla charging setup and easy installation. Available in midnight silver metallic, deep blue metallic, red multi-coat, and solid black. Now the automaker notes that it only matches the latest generation of wall connector, and they are selling the faceplates for $100, a price that reflects the material of tempered glass. It could be a last minute Christmas gift idea for the holiday season. Time Magazine has named Elon Musk its 2021 Person of the Year. Time chooses their Person of the Year not just for adulation, but also for an individual or group that greatly affects the news of people's lives, whether positive or negative. Time writes about Musk saying, quote, He's a player in robots and solar, cryptocurrency and climate, brain-computer implants to stave off the menace of artificial intelligence, and underground tunnels to move people and freight at super speeds. He dominates Wall Street. Quote, the way finance works now is that things are valuable not based on their cash flows, but their proximity to Elon Musk, Bloomberg columnist Matt Levine wrote in February. Now the article goes on to quote Robert Zubrin, who said, quote, He wants eternal glory for doing great deeds, and he is an asset to the human race, because he defines a great deed as something that is great for humanity. He is greedy for glory. Money to him is a means, not an end. Tesla has just received approval for three more trims of its electric vehicles in India, bringing the total to seven versions approved for the country. However, there's still no clear timeline for a launch there. We're well past the stage of riding on the wall. Musk and Tesla have announced their intentions many times, and the path is already being laid. Earlier this year, Tesla officially incorporated an Indian company, Tesla vehicles have been spotted testing on Indian roads, and supercharger stations have been spotted. But now... Indian media reports that Tesla has received homologation for seven models in the country. Of course, they use the word model a little liberally. Of course, these are actually just trim levels for the Model S, 3, X, and Y. While those approvals could be a good sign for Tesla preparing to launch in the country, the company has been quite clear that they want a waiver on car import duties for electric vehicles before they launch. Since Tesla has yet to make a solid move on a factory, we expect imports from the Chinese factory to be the primary source. Hyundai has shared pricing for its much-anticipated Ioniq 5 EV ahead of the launch in North America, which they say is coming in 2022. The launch was actually postponed to fall of 21, then winter of 21, and now they're saying 22. The vehicle has drawn a great deal of excitement and sold out reservations. Hyundai America announced today seven different versions along three trim levels. The Ionic 5 starts at $39,700 for the SE Standard Range Edition, scoring 220 miles of range. The entry trim is the only one with the 58 kilowatt hour battery pack. The next six of them on this list have the 77.4 kilowatt hour pack. The next vehicle is the SE Rear Wheel Drive for $43,650, scoring 303 miles of range. Next is the SE in all-wheel drive for 47,150, scoring 256 miles. Then comes the SEL in rear-wheel drive for 45,900, 303 miles for that one. Next is the SEL in all-wheel drive for 49,400, also 256 miles. Lastly are the two limited models. The limited rear-wheel drive for 50,600 with 303 miles of range and the limited all-wheel drive also 256 miles. No matter the trim level that consumers choose, the Ionic 5 will offer ultra-fast 800 volt and 350 kilowatt charging and vehicle-to-load capabilities with Hyundai's automatic driver assist features such as highway drive assist and smart cruise control. The White House released their plan to spend $7.5 billion on electric vehicle infrastructure. While a lot of focus right now is on the Build Back Better Act, which is being discussed in the Senate, 
The government already passed another infrastructure bill earlier this year that included $7.5 billion for EV infrastructure and $7.5 billion for electrifying public transport. The overall goal is to take the number of EV charging stations in the U.S. from 100,000 to 500,000. As of now, the actions are mainly about creating a framework to distribute the money, most of which will go to the states with which to spend. Today's community comment comes from Jason Thiner, who says, quote, Really need to get Berlin and Texas factories running at full speed. Just keep showing how much demand Tesla has. Yeah, I agree. With Berlin covering Europe, China with East Asia and all their exports, Texas and California for America, where would the next ones be? Russia has been suspected for a long time, along with India, but I don't know of any other ones. I wonder if other factories in southern China would be possible, or perhaps one to cover Western Asia somehow? I don't know. What do you think the maximum factories would be? Because I've kind of wondered that myself. At some point, Tesla has not only dominated, but totally saturated the global EV market. And at what point is that? And what part of the pie would they have? Crazy stuff to think about, but such is the world we live in. Thanks, Jason. And thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.